Did you know that elephants are the only animals with four knees? YouTube, we meet again. Hopefully for the last time. Just kidding, I hope to see all of you many times in the future. I'm so tired. And I think I'm either starting to get sick or that's just part of the tiredness is, is what's going on with my my nose voiceness. Random explosion face. <sighs> Anyway, today is Easter Monday, and I was gonna make a video about Easter, but I figured, you know, I have the, pretty much the same thing to say about every holiday in North America, so it would be very much like my last Christmas video if you guys saw that, and if you didn't, you should go check it out. It's, it's, I don't remember if it's good or not. But basically, I just feel like a majority of the holidays in North America are based off of Christian holidays, but no one seems to respect the fact that it's a Christian holiday, and that just... It really bugs me. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Go watch the Christmas video if you want to know more detail of my opinion on that. So because I had been planning to talk about Easter today and not something else, when I decided I actually didn't want to talk about Easter, I was really not knowing what I was going to do for a topic. And then I remembered, about a year ago, someone asked me to do a video on Sesame Street. And I was going to do it that week, but I got distracted by some topic that was really awesome and important to me, and then another one and another one, and then about 30-something topics later, here we are. Random eyebrows on fire face. Ah! Now, I know what most of you are thinking. What? Sesame Street? Why would an almost perfect show be featured on a less than perfect vlog? Well, because it's not really the show that's the issue that we're going to be talking about. It's the parents of the children who watch the show. Remember Bert and Ernie? I do. Remember them living in their apartment together? Like regular roommates? I don't really know if they were in college or if they were just roommates, but th th they were roommates. And I specifically remember as a kid thinking, hmm, they live together. They must be gay. What? No! I was like six years old, that thought would never enter into my head because I don't think about stuff like that when I'm six. But apparently, enough parents of children watching the show Sesame Street made a big huge hullabaloo about how Bert and Ernie live together and how that's inappropriate. That because two men live together, it makes kids think they're gay. I mean, yeah, of course, we all know that when two people live together and they're the same sex, that they're just gay together. That's, isn't that just common knowledge, right? Sarcasm, 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 sarcasm. For those who are too stupid to understand. A show will not determine whether or not your child is gay. That's part of their genetic code. When they're born, that's already decided. Like, their genes already have it set as to what they're gonna be more likely to be. And if your opinion is that your child should not be gay because for whatever reason you don't want your child to be gay. Even at that, if the shows that your children are watching have a heavier influence on their opinion than you do, you have got some serious parenting to catch up on, my friend. I mean, seriously, you're worried that your kid's opinion on anything is gonna be changed by a show when they're your child and you're supposed to spend a good majority of your life taking care of them and talking to them? What has this world's parents come to? So anyway, I think what actually ended up happening is that Bert and Ernie don't live together anymore just because they got so many complaints from the parents. More than anything, I'm just disappointed that Sesame Street is been continuously giving in to parents' complaints over the past couple years. I mean, come on. The Veggie Monster? Really? The Sesame Street that I remember watching stood up for what the show thought was right and what the show thought the kids should be watching. Not what everyone else thinks or says or does. But anyway, as you guys know, this is an opinion show, so comments, video responses, all welcome to discuss. But for now, it's time for everyone's favorite part of the show. Hero of the Week! Our Hero of the Week this week is out to a YouTube user named That Guy from Arkansas. Last week, uh, the topic that we discussed, everybody pretty much agreed with what I had to say. There were no points that came at it at a different point of view or a different opinion was thrown out there, so there was no really big, huge comment that was like, hey, that, that's a good input, I like that a lot. So instead of featuring someone who was talking about the topic, I decided to feature That Guy from Arkansas because... Well, he did something pretty awesome. Almost every week, I get people commenting on the videos saying, Hey, I'm the 10th commenter, I get the shout out. And every single time, they've been wrong because they don't understand it's literally the 10th person that comments. Not the 10th comment, it's the 10th person. And if I comment, that doesn't count. Because I'm usually just responding to comments. So again, whenever you see my name, that doesn't count as a 10th comment kind of regulation. What? So anyway, I think you can see where this is going. That guy from Arkansas commented and said he was the 10th commenter and he was actually right. He was the first person in the history of Rant to be right when they commented saying, yes, I'm the 10th person to comment, I get the shout out. Yes, this is awesome. You, you were the first, that guy from Arkansas, so congratulations. Here of the week and today's shout out goes out to you. 
Mr. That Guy from Arkansas. Remember guys, if you would like a shout out, just be the 10th person to comment on this video, and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. And if you'd really like to comment but don't have anything to say about anything else I've already talked about in this video, here is a weekly would you rather. Would you rather suck on a live cattle prod for five minutes or be imprisoned for five years? Ah, <sighs> some of these are just awful. Remember guys, if you have a would you rather you'd like to suggest or a random face that you'd like to see me do, there's this thing below me called the comment section. Type it in and I'll be sure to get to it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's everything I got to say for today and the rest this week. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, there's a button up here that you can click on and scroll through my videos and pick on a video that interests you. But uh, for now, I'm Isaac Goley and thanks for joining me once again on Rant. Peace in! Comment and subscribe, comment and subscribe, comment, 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 comment and subscribe. And maybe favorite too.